hole. I got it set. Yeah, so for part two, we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, diagrams, I think. Or do we? Yeah, we do. We do need to. So, you know, when they say there's this excellent demo that was done online, and I really want to have some more of this beer because we got time. Ah, oh, I love this location I'm at today was actually, it's kind of a military fort here. So it's really cool. Um, let's just chat a little here. So what they're saying is that, remember there was that demo a while back where the guy took the light on the table and he had the camera level with the table, you know, halfway up the lens and it was a tiny bit below Okay, but he could still see across the top of the table and he was able to set a light. Other people have done that with a coin. And then you get these globe heads. They're coming on. Wah! Wah! Um, the camera was, was a little bit below the edge of the table. Okay, that is nonsense. That is the stupidest, lamest, ridiculous rebuttal. It does not apply. And I'm going to prove that to you today. Um, and I also did that demo, so we're going to add that to the end. It worked perfectly. So you can see across the whole top. Now let's say I'm looking out here. I don't know if you could see it, but there's a mountain range up there. And I know that mountain range is way, way taller than me. So can you imagine? And the sun sets behind that. And so can you imagine if I'm doing the table demo and I want to replicate this real life situation and I've got a mountain range in the distance how would I do it okay the camera would literally have to be the whole lens fully below the table period there's that is the only way you could do it right to replicate reality okay done there's no other way you could do it so that mountain is way taller than we are right now so it's blocking the whole entire lens of the camera and you'd have to Let's say if that's where the table was, where that mountain is, the camera is at a distance. So that's what I did. I had the camera at a distance from the table on a tripod and you see me lowering it to just where the other edge of the table disappears, and maybe a hair below that. It took me 18 feet to set a light that was about this high off the table, maybe three inches. And you're gonna see that. So, <laughs> It doesn't cause the effect like these retards think. It's not cheating or anything like that. It just means you can use a shorter distance. That's all. Period. Okay, the horizon ramps up to eye level and after a few miles out, <laughs> you know, things are going to start disappearing. Doesn't matter what you do. So, so that's it. I basically told you the whole second video. So you're really done if you have like two brain cells that work, one for your vital functions and one to understand what I just said, you're golden. You don't need to see the demo even, but I'm gonna put it on anyways. So, so that's that, okay, do you understand? Um, so let's introduce the demo now for the people who wanna watch it. Um, and I recommend you do, because it's, it's great to see these things. Okay, I found a place on Earth, the Dead Sea, the Jordan Valley. Okay, it is, <laughs> you're gonna love this, and it faces west, and I got a sunset from this region facing west. Oh man, okay, so you're 420 meters below sea level, so you're in a wedge in the ground of the ball, let's say, okay, a wedge, and it's not even that wide, okay? I'll even be generous, give them 20 miles wide, and it's not, it's, it's nowhere near that. And so anyways, and then we're looking west. There's mountains on either side of the wedge. So when I'm looking west, I have the Judean mountains. And they're almost a kilometer up or so. So you're talking about almost one and a half kilometers in the ground. And my lens is at the very bottom of that, that wall. Okay. And I, I have to look out and see the sunset. Okay. It's crazy. And they're complaining about the camera that it was indeed a bit below the edge 
edge of the table. Okay, the, the lens, the middle of the lens, and you could still see all across the top. Okay, they're stupid, they're crybabies, because they have nothing, because they know their globe is dead. Okay, so, hang on a sec. This beer is so smooth, so beautiful. Oh, highly recommend it. Now, so where were we? The edge of the table. Yeah, so we're in the Dead Sea and I'm watching the sunset. I even have footage that says three hour time lapse in one minute. <laughs> so it sets nice and slow, um, just like it would anywhere else on earth, believe it or not. And so the beauty is at that latitude, Jerusalem's latitude, it's the same exact as the northern part of the Dead Sea where we see the sunset, okay, facing west. Um, the Earth's going uh, just over, well, let's just say 890 miles per hour. I think it's 891, whatever, 0.7, I don't know. Okay, so round it down, 890 miles an hour, okay. And, and you're in that wedge at the very bottom and you've got that big mountain in front of you. How long do you think it's going to take for that mountain to just rotate like that and you're done? Okay, not long. I'd, I'd say the sunset should last maybe less than a minute, a few seconds. Okay, at going 890 miles, <laughs> there's no way. And you see the sun, it's like halfway set, cut off by the mountain range and you got the reflection on the water going all the way to the shore. That can only happen with an overhead light, period. Okay, done. And that's the end of the globe, again. Okay, so there's no way out of this. So, um, let's just draw this out. We'll draw the ball scenario first. So, you got your ball, okay. And you're right there at the bottom of that. Okay. Is this even, yeah. Okay, so you're right here. I'll draw it in blue. Hang on, the water. Show you where the camera is. Okay, so you're down here, okay, and the camera is right there, <laughs> in that little dot, and the sun is right there, and you're watching, you're seeing this part of it right there, because you're watching the sun, so somehow you're able to see half the, the sun, I don't know how, because <laughs> But on the ball, look how stupid that looks already on the ball. It's retarded. Just one little movement that way. Okay, if the ball went that way. Okay. You're done. <laughs> It'll be nighttime in seconds. Okay, and you're definitely not getting any reflection on that water way down in there. Okay, so don't complain about demos that show reality the way it's supposed to be shown with when they do the camera and the table demo and that's a great kids experiment anybody can understand that so so that was it i mean so for flat just pretend that curve isn't there and you're just in that wedge the light is way up here doesn't matter if it's far out it's still above you and if it's above you okay right there that means the rays can shine right down in there. Okay?
So there's the setup right there. Get the camera ready right there. Okay. Okay. Got lots of good distance today. And let's try some experiments here. Okay. So I brought a magnifying glass, handy magnifying glass so I can use on my LED screen to make sure Wow, it looks amazing. Yeah, to make sure that I line it up just perfect. So I'm a little bit high right now. The camera's too high. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, zebra, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to try the light, just it's about a little bit off the ground here. We're just going to back off with it.
So the light ends up setting when it's right about here. Okay, before the end of the second table, that light sets. Okay, so That's got to tell you something about reality right there. You can set the sun on a table, no problem. It's okay if the camera's just a little hair below because, hey, you could be behind a mountain range, the bottom of a long sloping hill, you could be a kilometer below sea level. None of that matters, okay? None of that matters. The sun travels in a straight line across the sky parallel to the ground just like a jet plane that's why it's a straight line to noon and a straight line to set the midnight sun footage totally proves this and that's the end of the globe There's no way out of that, okay? It's a complete uh, orbital mechanical failure. It's a joke. That's why they got little bears on this thing. It's just a complete fraud. And let's do a second round. And that's the, oh, wait, I got it. And that's the end of the globe. Okay, that's it. Video's done. All right, so the rest, we're gonna be chilling. Of course, we're gonna bring up some more amazing points as usual. Uh, I'll go get the sun, maybe. It's uh, one of those disco balls. <laughs> we might as well, let's go and show you what it is.
Yeah, look at that, look at that. Woohoo! You can tell by the way I walk. <laughs> there it is. All right, can you hear the Bee Gees playing? Okay, that's it. Utter stupidity that you're, all these balls are floating around and you're on a ball and you're going a thousand times faster than a speeding bullet in five different directions simultaneously and you can't feel a thing. Okay, that's what you believe is a globe hugger. Okay, don't be stupid. All right, done. Okay, so now that we cleared that up, Yeah. Oh, you know what? I missed a great shot of a globe head. I have to show you this. Hang on.
Look at that. It's got the little hat on and he's crying. <laughs> the sad globe clown. Oh, this is great. We'll see if we can do it this way so we can get a good snapshot out of it. If anybody wants to have a lovely photo. There it is right there. That's a globe head. Sad because we killed his globe. There's no such thing as a globe. Okay, let's get some nice horizontal footage as well. The globe is dead. It died ages ago. It never existed. Oh, poor globe head. His hat's fallen off. Woo. There's a happy face there. <laughs> this is great.